Uh, hello everyone, I am Lydia Contono, a student of Bonyanga Girls Secondary School. I'm Jenna Bai Muhammad from STEM Club and I'm, I'm the Vice Chairperson of STEM. My name is Summer Lynn Mary. I'm in Senior 4 and I'm part of the Sensitization Group of Mosquito Project, STEM, Wanyanga Girls Secondary School. My name is Achen Bilana Mugaya, a student of Wanyanga Girls Senior Secondary School. In our school, the STEM club is really very active to an extent that we have uh, leaders, we have our patrons, and personally, I am the chairperson of this club. We have different class representatives, and we have really done a lot to make sure that the club is really active in school. So the STEM club itself has really developed me as a science student. By the mere fact that I'm doing biology, I have improved on my research skills, and I have learned a lot. The Mosquito Project, which helps me to know more about mosquitoes and how to control them through making their repellents. Now, according to our study, as you can see, this is our main, main, uh, main source of one of our drops in the school that we have. And we got different samples in different papers, like you can see, this is experiment B, experiment A, and then experiment B, just right here. Now, according to what we did, in the experiment, uh, each of these beakers has a, a, a contained about 100 nanos. Now, all these beakers were exposed to different temperatures, and for experiment in particular, it was placed at temperatures of about 20 degrees Celsius. Then, experiment B at 20 degrees Celsius, and experiment C at a higher temperature of about 45 to 40 degrees Celsius. As the sensitization group, we carried out different activities in our communities and also school. One of the reasons that's why I've benefited from STEM is that it helps me build on my confidence when I'm, when I'm sensitizing my fellow students and when I'm sensitizing teachers, we then go up to the cooks and sensitize them. We involved different students from different communities and there were about 1,000 students. Then we also involved our teachers. They also supported us in this project. We carried out different activities. We collected different recyclable wastes and made different useful stuff like rocks and also decorated boards and we also went on performing skits to different communities and these communities were Igenge, Musima, Wanyange Girls community and also Igenge Hill. We do mathematics in class and we also do it here instead. I'm Martin, I'm behind the Musa. I'm the professor of the French, Wanyange Girls. I'm the chef of the department. My name I'm Mr. Vihandi Mbusa. I'm a teacher of French, at the same time, the head of the French department. I am Borgere Sanon Moses, acting deputy head teacher in charge of academics, co curricula and security. Uh, my role in STEM is, I'll say, I'll sum it up as one of the mobilizers and coordinators. This is Nyanja. I'm the deputy head teacher of Wanyanga Girls Secondary School in charge of discipline, health, and the welfare. At the same time, under the STEM program, I serve as the STEM coordinator uh, of this program in this institution. STEM uh, in the next five years is going to create so many Wanyangas in Busoga and beyond Bosoga. The girls that are in STEM want to really acknowledge their efforts that they have put in, in, in this and the kind of love that they have. STEM is a project that we have taken on here as a school and as headmistress of this school my role is to support the activities of the staff and the students in the program. I'm one of the few beneficiaries of STEM and one of the very few champions 
as far as STEM, STEM competitions are concerned. Currently, we are looking at mosquitoes, their habitats, the kind of lifestyle they take, and everything that is concerned about mosquitoes. Basically, I'm from the mosquito trap team. The mosquito trap team is a team that is dealing with traps for mosquitoes. We are trapping mosquitoes. We are trapping these tiny creatures. The few things that we have in our environment that seem to be very useless, but yet they are very important and can be used to save a life. We are looking at things like polythene papers, things that are very affordable to everyone. We are using bottles. After somebody taking the soda, they will dump it at any place and then it will even it will even lead to infertility to the soil since it blocks the water. We are using things like threads. Our aim is to cut down the hazardous repercussions spread by mosquitoes. For example, the diseases that mosquitoes spread. And for that cause we are working together towards making a trap that is also that is not only eco-friendly but also is conducive and academic by the I encourage all of you to join me in this call for in this call for the fight against mosquitoes. Join me in the making of traps. Thank you very much. My name is Deborah Masekanacho, Headmistress Wanyale Girls Secondary School, and it's been a pleasure to interact with you about the STEM program, a program that is really at, at the bottom of our hearts. Thank you once again.